Hello world! Welcome back to another Shell CTF 2022 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through all the forensics challenges in the CTF. Let's get into it. So I'm doing the same format as I did with the crypto challenges, but this time with the forensics challenges. And again, they're all fairly quick, so I think I can get away with just throwing them all in the same video. Having said, let's get started with the first one, alien communication. Aliens are trying to communicate something. They believe in seeing more than what they are hearing. Can you help us try to decode what they're trying to say? It's this alienvoice.wave file. So we're just going to open up Sonic Visualizer. And we're going to drag that sucker in here. And we're going to add the spectrogram. And if we zoom in, we'll actually get our flag. Shell, you got the flag. So let's bring this over here and let's type that in. Shell, you got the flag. All right, let's submit that. Okay, let's move on to secret document. Shell is the key if you didn't get it Zori. So it looks like we're going to be Zoring the word shell to this file. So we can easily do that in CyberChef. Let's open up the file. Here it is. Okay. And then we're just going to look for the Zor operation. And we're going to put this as UTF-8, and we're going to type in shell. And we see that we get a PNG file here. So we're just going to save that, download that, that, open that up. And there's our flag in the upper left-hand corner. Shell, you can see the hidden. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. All right, let's move on to hidden file. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Don't need that anymore or that. Nope. Our agent gave us this image. Can you find what's there with this image? Okay, so for this one, we're going to go over to my Kali box. And as you can see, I have the file here. And if we do file on it, it is indeed a JPEG file. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to run exif tool on it first just to see if there's anything in the metadata and it looks like there is it says the password is shell what's well, a well-known stego tool that involves a password steg hide so we're going to go ahead and run steg hide on it and this is hidden not jpeg and then we're going to use shell as our passphrase and it says wrote extracted data to hiddenfiles.zip. So let's ls. Now we're going to unzip hiddenfiles.zip. And you can see that we got secret file.pdf, something.jpg, flag.zip. Okay. So let's go ahead and clear. Now, something.jpg is actually a QR code. So if we were to try to decode it, you're going to get this YouTube link. And that's just a Rickrolled video. So don't follow that. What we're interested in is actually the secret.pdf file here. Okay, for some reason, let's see, open with other application. Here we go. For some reason, I don't know why it wasn't defaulting to the default PDF opener, but we get part of the Rick Roll lyrics. But if you do a control A, you'll notice that there's a key down here and it says shell CTF. And that key is actually for the zip file right here. So we're gonna open that. And we're gonna double click that and we're gonna put shell CTF here as the password. And there's our flag, shell, you got the flag, nice. So we'll copy that and paste it in and submit. All right, moving on to heaven. I was in the seventh heaven painted red, green, and blue. Okay, and so they give you a seventh heaven. I believe this is a JPEG file if I'm not mistaken, yeah. 
but it's actually a PNG file. And I can show that to you really fast here. See, it's a PNG file. So the extension was there to just throw you off a little bit, but we're actually gonna solve this in Stegsol. And you'll notice there's some weird pixels up here. Don't try to grab those and try to decode them. It's either a red herring or it's part of when they encoded the message into the image, it messed up some of the bits. So what we're actually gonna do is analyze and data extract. And we're gonna actually follow the riddle they have here. I was in the seventh heaven painted red, green, and blue. Well, red, green, and blue is RGB. And so we know that there's eight bit planes. Zero is the starting bit plane. So seven from the starting bit plane would be obviously seven. So we're gonna check box all of these values and we're gonna do preview. And then we're gonna scroll up and there's our next flag, shell. Manipulating with bits is easy. So I would actually like to save that text and we'll save it to heaven as flag.txt. And let's actually go to our heaven folder And we should be able to just copy this out, but it looks like it's going to be a little problemsome to do so. So let's just see if we can't clean this up a little bit. All right. So there's our full flag, and we'll go ahead and submit that. Incorrect. Oh, space there, and you get rid of that. There we go. All right, sorry about that. So let's move on to the final forensics challenge, which is go deep. Now this one's a bit interesting, and let me go ahead and close some of this crap out since we don't need it anymore. need that anymore either okay so one of our agents gave us this file and said go deep and so if you get the file I can open up this here you'll get this agent.zip archive and if you extract it out you get this file dot wave you can look at it in sonic visualizer you're not gonna get anything the thing we want to look at here is actually I need to go back to my Kali box again Close that, and that, and that, and we're going to go up one, and we're going to go into go deep, and if you do exif tool on file.wave, you're actually going to see that there's several parts here that say password shell, and of course this is the Rick Rolled video, so don't follow that, but we need to find some kind of audio steganography tool that exposes some kind of data or hidden data from our WAV file via this password. And so what I did is I just had to start Googling and I finally stumbled upon this Reddit link right here after, you know, searching online audio steganography. And if we go to it and scroll down, you'll notice that this person who's responding to this Reddit post is saying that their CTF team uses steg hide and deep sound. Deep seems to be like a key word here because remember the title of the challenge is go deep. So that seems like it would be the tool we need to use. And if we go to this GitHub link right here and scroll down, we'll actually find that tool right here. And this is what I downloaded. So let's go ahead and open that. And we're going to open carrier files, file.wave. Looking for the password, we know the password is shell. And now we get a deep flag.txt. So now we're gonna extract secret files and you'll see where it's downloaded to. And we're gonna go to that location now. And here is our flag in this deep flag.txt file. Shell, you were thinking really deep. Excellent. And we submit that we'll have solved all the forensics challenges so if you enjoyed the video drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed check out our patreon join our discord and follow us on twitter 
Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.